What's up guys? So today on this Shoki Quickie, we're taking a look at another World of Nintendo figure from Jack Specific. And this is the 4-inch-ish line. And it is the Paratrooper, which just means he's a turtle with wings. Also, it's Series 2-1 up there, so an earlier one than we've seen recently. And this was sent to me by my good buddy, Unboxing Art. He likes finding these for me. Plus, he, they have a much bigger selection of these up north rather than down here. Like, I guess I missed the boat quite a bit. And now there's virtually only one place at all to buy these down here. And that is GameStop. And their selection is pretty weak. Though I did forget to ask the other day when I was in there if they could get me any more of these. Either way, you've got the paratrooper right there. Just all knocked away there. Little turtle guy all up in there. And you've got the wings hidden right there. Accessory included. Yes, it is. And little thing right there includes one figure and two accessories. They're breaking up the wings entirely. And you got Aegis 3 Plus right there. Man, because, you know, I'm right in the middle of that. And you got NASDAQ Jack down at the bottom. And come back here. Paratrooper with wings. No kidding. You got his head can go really fast. He's like the Flash. And then his arms, he can uh, roll the dice. And he can shimmy shimmy his leg out there. He can sweep the leg of Johnny, as it were. You got wings there, and you got everybody else who are in the line. Collect them all. Don't tell me what to do, box. And then White Tanuki Mario, Falco Lombardi. That one was on the show for quite some time, and I just wasn't buying these yet. Red Yoshi, I've seen once or twice. Paratroopa, and little cartoon link right there. So, yay for that. Oh, and uh, 2016, way back when. So, let's go ahead and get this new little bad guy out and see how, um, well, ineffectual he really is as a bad guy all right guys so here is the Koopa, the paratroopa i was almost going to call it the koopa troopa uh, which i guess realistically the only difference would be uh the shell and i've got this guy up on my little dumb stand here just to kind of give him a flying pose just to see if i could because he's supposed to be able to fly or at least hover or bounce or whatever maybe a sit like that. I feel like I'm going to need to give him like a clear plastic stand like I did with, uh, I almost said stink fly, uh, blow fly from Grocery Gang. Uh, let's bring him down to earth, so to speak. Um, this guy is definitely a Simpsons character. Anybody else getting that vibe? Either that or a Sesame Street character, for sure. Like, <laughs> I, I'd like it. They get the painted eyes and tampoed on um, pupils and stuff like that. Uh, the chest, you, you probably barely make out the color difference. It is a lighter, lighter tone. This is very more yellow. This is like banana flesh almost. Uh, just barely, barely different in tone there. Of course, nice painted white and red shell. His body's all molded probably in one color. Uh, the wings do just plug in on ball joints. No biggie there. Super easy. He's an angel turtle. Blah. Angel turtle. Articulation-wise, his head is on a swivel. That's about it. He can't go all the way around, though. The arms do have the standard uh, disc hinge plugged in there, kind of universal joint. With a simple little elbow so he can look like he's eating. I wish he... Oh, he does rotate at the wrist. I did not know that until just now. So he's, like, real nervous. He's really, really nervous about something. Ooh, or he's going to fight. You won't fight? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the... Something about the bad guys I actually tend to like a little bit more. It's kind of funny. The characters seem to be done better, if I'm honest. Uh, you've got the same kind of hips right here. So he's got a disc hinge right there. It can rotate, I think. Yeah, I can kick forward like so. Now, this one has something I haven't seen before. Rotation at the knee, so to speak. And he has a disc hinge foot. So he actually has ankle articulation. Or technically, this might be his knee, and this is his thigh. I don't. You, you do the anatomy lesson on this guy, for all I know. But it means that the feet can do some dynamic-ish poses. So you can kick it back. Actually, it does rotate at the foot as well. So it's a ball joint underneath that. So he can really do some fighting poses. That's funny. That is really, really funny to me. Like, you can really get him. In dynamic flying pose. Holy crap, look at that. If he had a if he had a straight hand, that would be fun. There we go. Now he's totally doing that. Yes. I'm gonna find a way to make that the thumbnail. I'm gonna do it. That's great. It, what is it with these that somehow have these have more articulation than like the human characters, or at least the human like characters like Mario and Luigi and those guys. They don't even have ankle articulation or foot articulation. That is dumb. And this is an older one than some of the ones I do have. The fact that it has shoulder, elbow, and wrist 
is nice. That's pretty much like most of them do. And he does have wings that mildly move around. So, I mean, if you really wanted to stop motion this guy, you probably could. Uh, I would have liked a little bit of shading or like panel lining or something for the nose and the, the body. Just something to really break up the hard lines. Or actually, so you could see the lines, I should say. But I like anything to do with the tail. I like that. That's fun. Let's set him down. I will say that the, uh, the the legs make it very interesting to get him planted, though. So you're going to have to use a balance of rotating rotating legs and stuff like that. There we go. That's cool. Bring the camera down so we can see what the heck is happening. Set him over here for a second. We'll bring out some bad guys to compare him to. Here's one of his bosses, so to speak. A Bowser. A Bowser, a Bowser Jr., as it were. Still one of my favorite characters. Also, with a lot of articulation. We'll bring in another sky-flying turtle person with Lucky 2. We don't have his accessory in his hand because he would just keep dropping it anyways. Uh, the last one we looked at right here, we got a little bit of a toadling. Which I wish Toad at least had some feet articulation. Let him lean forward a little bit. I would be happier with that. And for the person who tends to jump on them all the time, we'll bring in the enemy. The evil Mario person. Good picture of that. Nice. And just because... There's Wally. Also a picture. There we go. <laughs> so all in all, guys, I think this is a fun little character. I do think these are mildly overpriced, at least at GameStop. They should probably be no more than ten ninety nine. dollars or maybe $9.99 at the most, especially for smaller ones like this. But engineering-wise, I like this one. It's a little bit better than some of them. Oh, hold on, wait. Oh, my God, he does have a neck joint. Look, I didn't even see it until just now when I turned his head up. So he can totally, like, be flying and looking down at you. Hold on, i got to turn the camera up a little. I guess so he can be like, yeah. What you going to do? What you going to do? I'm a flying, I'm a flying turtle person. What you gonna do about it? Oh my god, I love this thing, so much fun. Uh, and I know, I believe these guys all have red shells, whereas the normal uh, Koopa Troopas had the green shells. I'm gonna have to give me one of those guys as well now if I know that they have this kind of articulation. This is a, this is a lot of fun. I do wish he had a tiny bit of shading here and there, but I didn't realize. I totally missed the fact that he had a disc hinge in his neck there. So that's pretty cool. He can do. Dynamic poses, which is unexpected out of a figure like this, considering. Look at that. You can even be flying away. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Guys, if you like this as much as I do, make sure you give me a thumbs up down there and hit that subscribe button. We're at twenty. We're over 2,800 now, headed towards 2,900. I want to hit 3,000 very soon. I'd be really, really happy. I want to hit 5,000 by the end of the year just to keep this growth moving. Yeah, guys, if you want to help the channel out, help me help support things so I can keep buying cool stuff like this to look at, along with Gundam and, and everything else like that, go ahead and hit up the Patreon. It'll be right there on the screen. But, of course, if you want to hit the actual link, it's in the description <laughs> down below. And, uh, of course, if you want to help the channel out in another way, go ahead and hit up the Shoki store and go get yourself a Shoki shirt. Like, this little dude definitely would if he could. And he's trying to do chin-ups, which is weird because he's got wings. Uh... <laughs> It's fun playing with this while I'm talking. Yay! He's like, put an invisible fence right here that he's like climbing over. That'd be funny. Uh, yeah, get a Shoki shirt. That also helps out. Plus, you can be part of the Shoki Nation and let everybody know that you love my stuff so much that you bought a shirt. That's just great. <laughs> but I'll catch you guys on the next review. And remember, as always, just to keep on flying if you can. This guy clear. I knew he was going to face plant at some point, but keep on flying. Keep on nerding. Whatever. Look at that guy. That's cool. <laughs>